Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is uh, Monday, <laughs> um, April 18th, and I got some bags done today. I posted a video earlier, and they weren't done yet, so I was just going to work on them and hopefully finish them, and I did. So these are going to go into my Etsy shop tomorrow, which is Tuesday, uh, April 19th. Duh, the day after the 18th. That would make sense. <laughs> At 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's the time it is for me in Middle Tennessee. So that will be 6 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, 4 p.m. Mountain Time, and 3 p.m. Pacific Time. So that's all the time zones I have remembered, memorized. <laughs> so I'm going to go through these bags. There are three that have duplicates two of them uh there are some there's only one of each they are all quilted zipper project bags uh with the exception of one one small enough that it could be like an amigurumi project bag or a sock project bag or a notions pouch um but this is all scrap fabric you would have seen most of this already i think yeah uh and it's just scrap fabrics from uh past updates that i've been holding on to trying to use up so I just decided to go ahead and use it up <laughs> to clear off some space. But anyways, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and get it started here with the ones that have two each. These are all different sizes, too. I don't have the sizes on top of my head right now. I have them. They'll be on the listings. Um, so I suggest before you buy any of them to read the listings because <laughs> the, the each listing on Etsy has a description. And that, tell, that says the size of the bag. Uh, yeah, they all do have boxed bottoms. Some of them are 5 inch box bottoms, I believe, and the other ones are like uh, 3 inch ones. <laughs> See, I can't remember off the top of my head. But okay, so there's two of this yellow one. This is similar to the ones I just gave away for my spring giveaway. Same fabric, uh, about the same shape, really, but I think they're a little bit bigger. So it does have the box bottom. And they all have the handle except that one. That's like a notion pouch size because I didn't think it would look right with a handle. But they all have a big handle. I made it big enough for any size arm to go through if you want to carry it. Or also you could just hang it on carts or, you know, hooks or whatever. <laughs> so, and they are all lined. Just different fabrics because, again, it's scrap. This one just happens to be yellow. I think both the yellow ones have yellow liner. So, here's that one. And as you can see, that is a pretty good size bag. And so, there's two of those ones. There's two of this one. This is a big project bag. It's got the box bottom. I think this has got like a green, nope, this has got a yellow color liner. Got the handle, really big. <laughs> two of those. And then there's two of this one, another big one. With the handle and all that. And um, it's got like a green uh, print. <laughs> I'm not good. All right, so those are the three that have duplicates. Let me lay these over here. All right, all these next ones, there's just one of each. So this is like a medium sized diamond print. They all have box bottoms, they're quilted, which makes they're squishy. Um, they have zippers. And then there's this bigger one with roosters on it. Ooh. And then there's one with Jasmine and Raj, her tiger. <laughs> See, they're different, they're kind of different shapes and sizes because I was using scrap fabrics. There's this pretty green one and I matched it with a green, um, handle and it's got a green zipper <laughs> i tried to keep it all green what's the liner on this one it's the yellow one see i can't even remember i was just working on these i don't remember what they all were lined with oops that one's about to fall and there's a mini mouse one Yeet. there's this one with like vintage cameras on it There's this one with farm equipment. Like I said, all these prints are ones that you've already seen recently. And it's just scrap fabric that I'm using up. Flamingos! Bright pink flamingos. And then there's this one with plants. And then these ones are smaller ones. So there's like this one with the, um, it's like garden stuff. This would be a good, uh, for like an amigurumi hat socks uh some notion pouch if you want to do those notions oops i hit the camera <laughs> and then a purple one that is smaller it's like shimmery purple <laughs> and then this one with butterflies that is smaller 
And then the last one is the smallest one. It's the little American one. <laughs> it doesn't have a handle because I thought it would look kind of weird with the big old handle sticking outside. But this one can be a, a notion pouch or it can be a project bag for something small like a um, amigurumi or socks like I said or even hats that are like uh, smaller size hat hats. Well, like a one ball project would fit in here. So that's the bags that's going to be in the shop. Like I said, one of each of them except the first three I showed. There's two of each of those. Uh, the prices vary because the sizes are different. Uh, prices have increased slightly because um, Etsy raised their fees. And uh, yeah, shipping is always calculated. So I don't control the price of shipping or taxes. Your state determines the taxes and your location for me determines the shipping cost. So uh, I can't help either of those. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that uh, that update will be tomorrow, Tuesday, April 19th <laughs> at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And yeah, I always try to ship them out quick because I know when I order stuff, I'd like to get it like as soon as possible. So I do try to ship usually next day or sometimes two days later. Uh, let's see, Tuesday and Wednesday. I could probably ship next day. I got everything on hand to ship them with. <laughs> and I print my labels at home, so it makes it easier to just package them all up and drop them off at the post office all at once. So, yeah. But anyways, that's the bags. And the next bags will probably be drawstring bags. Because I really do not like making um, zipper bags. Because they, they just take longer. It's like a longer process. It's a lot more work and they cost more because of that. And um, I just prefer making project or drawstring bags because I can just zip right through them. I can make like 30 of those in a day and it'd be easy <laughs> these ones take this is uh 19 there was gonna be 20 i really the really pretty star fabric i had in my last bag that was like black with rainbow stars but i ran out of black fabric to line it with so i'll just i already got it cut and everything i'm just gonna leave it for another update whenever i get some black fabric to line it with but yeah anyways i'm gonna hop off here and get this video up for you guys and then i gotta work on taking pictures of all these to make listings so they'll be ready for the shop update tomorrow uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Bye, guys.